What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and it is that time of year once again for my WWE Money in the Bank 2022 predictions video. This video is being filmed after the Go Home Raw and before the Go Home Smackdown. So as usual, even though it's been a little while since we did one of these, any updated matches that are not in this video, I will leave in the description down below alongside my predictions and also in the comments. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into the 2022 Money in the Bank match card. Let's do it. Kicking off the show, we have the United States Championship match between Theory, the champion, defending the title against Bobby Lashley, who is a former WWE champion. I actually see Theory retaining here, and uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to be clean, though. I think he's going to be using some heel shenanigans, heel tactics to beat Bobby Lashley, as I do think, despite John Cena saying that he doesn't know when he's next going to be in the ring... I think it's going to be Theory versus Cena at SummerSlam. So I'm doing my predictions based on that fact. So in my opinion, I'm predicting Theory to retain. Next up, we have the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships on the line as the Usos representing the Bloodline take on the team of Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits, and they want the smoke. Do I see them taking the tag titles, however? No, I think the bloodline, the Usos, are going to be keeping all the gold for a while. And uh, the Usos are going to be retaining the WWE Undisputed Tag Team titles. The SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line next as Rowdy Ronda Rousey defends her title for the first time against Natalia. Do I see Natalia winning? Absolutely not. There's no way that on her first big title defense, Ronda Rousey is dropping the championship to Natalia. Unfortunately for her, Natalia, anyway, uh, Ronda Rousey is going to retain. Next up on the card is the Raw Women's Championship on the line and it is Bianca Belair defending the title against Carmella who won a match for number one contendership a couple of weeks ago because obviously it was meant to be uh, Bianca Belair versus Rhea Ripley which would have been so good but due to Rhea being injured Carmella has taken the spot which is great for her uh, but she's not going to win is she? No, Bianca Belair is going to retain the Raw Women's title. Coming up next as part of our co-main events, we have the Women's Money in the Bank contract ladder match featuring Lacey Evans, Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan, Raquel Rodriguez, Asuka, Shotzi and Becky Lynch. Now, as much as I would love for Liv Morgan to win this one, I'm actually predicting it to be Becky Lynch uh, due to the fact that for some reason, WWE don't like having the Women's Money in the Bank contract holder keeping the contract for very long i mean the last sort of what four years uh the the miss money in the bank has cashed in within the first week of winning i think so i'm going with becky lynch because i think they're gonna maybe either further the bianca belair feud which i'm not really keen on but i would think it would be awesome for becky to win the belt uh win the briefcase sorry then cash in on ronda rousey and then at SummerSlam we can finally get the becky lynch and ronda rousey one-on-one -on -one match from WrestleMania 35 that we should have got, but never did, with Becky as the SmackDown Women's Champion and Ronda challenging. That's my prediction, Becky Lynch to win the Miss Money in the Bank contract. And that brings us to our main event of the evening, the Men's Money in the Bank briefcase contract ladder match, featuring Seth freaking Rollins, Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, Amos, Sami Zayn, Riddle, and one person to be announced. Uh, as of this video, as I said at the beginning, the Go Home Smackdown has not been yet, which means this person is not in. I've got a few predictions here. Could be Ezekiel, could be John Cena, uh, could be Kevin Owens. I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's going to be anyone super special. However, I would love it to be John Cena because I think that you could really start the theory Cena feud here. Have Cena get in the match, get really close to winning the briefcase, then have Theory come out and cost him it, you know, tip the ladder or whatever, and that sets up them at SummerSlam. But I don't think it's going to be Cena. Uh, you know, I've got to take what WWE say at face value these days instead of trying to look for, too far into it. Cena said he doesn't know when he's going to wrestle again. So in my mind, that means he's not booked for SummerSlam, even though part of me is saying, sure, he is. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. There's no one really in this match that I see winning other than Seth freaking Rollins because... WWE are once again doing Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam, which we as... How many times have we seen this? Probably about nine times now we've seen these guys face off in the last few years. And I think, make it come full circle. Have Seth freaking Rollins cash in on Roman Reigns, 
for the WWE Championship. Not the Undisputed Championship, it's not two. It strictly says in the Money in the Bank contract, the challenger can either challenge for either either the WWE or Universal Championship. So have in that main event, Rollins come out, make it a triple threat match, challenge for the WWE Championship, pin Roman Reigns or pin Brock Lesnar, and uh, then Rollins can hold the belt until WrestleMania. Cody can come back and win the Rumble. Rollins, Cody four at WrestleMania, and then Cody can win the championship. So that is what I would do. That's my fantasy booking. I'm going with Seth freaking Rollins to become a two-time Mr. Money in the Bank. But there you go, guys. That is my predictions for this Saturday's Money in the Bank pay-per-view. I'm not going to be watching the show live. However, I will be doing reactions uh, early on the Sunday morning. Afterwards, I will be hopefully watching it and getting my reactions up. Let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. Tell me what you think is going to happen at the premium live event. I've been Joe from Joe Tots Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you at Money in the Bank. Goodbye.